What's up guys, Jeremy Donson here, and just want to let you guys know that if you're really serious about improving your drumming skills, check out my website, thedrumprofessor.com, and you can also get to it by clicking on the link in the video description below for more info on how to really improve your drumming skills at a fast rate. So, here we go, let's get started with In Bloom by Nirvana. So to get started, let's break down this intro. So you're going to go crash one, two, two hi-hats there. And if you see me doing left-handed, I'm a left-handed drummer, but uh, I'll also be showing you right-handed as well. Okay, so once you crash with the bass drum, you hit the hi-hat two times. It's heavy hi-hat, meaning that it's not all the way open. It's not closed all the way, but it's just slightly separated, giving you that heavy hi-hat sound. So we're going to go crash. So after you do crash one, two, you go bass snare and crash with the bass again. So bass snare and crash with the bass again. Okay, now once you do that, you do two hi-hats. One, two after the crash. Let's do it slowly. Now after those two hi-hats, you're going to do flams on the snare. So, two flams with the snare. Once you do the two flams with the snare, this is next. You do a bass and then high and mid tom together. So. And then, bass and then mid and floor tom together. And then bass crash, and you're gonna crash with the bass. So to put that together, together again, you go two flams and then bass drum. After the bass drum, hit the high and mid tom together. Once you hit the high and mid tom together, you do another bass and then add the mid and floor tom together. Now be sure when you hit the toms that they are not flams, you hit them at the same time. Okay, so flam on the snare, yes where it's separated, but the toms you hit at the same time. Now after you do the mid and floor tom, then you do bass and then crash with the bass. Now if you only have one crash, just crash on what you have. You don't have to crash with both hands. It's optional up to you. So any of the extra pieces I have, if you don't have them, don't worry about it. Use what you have and you'll be fine. Um, even if you only have pots and pans, you can learn this song. It's all muscle memory. That's what's awesome about the drums. All right, so putting this together, check it out. So you're going to do that a total of four times. Once you do it four times, then we go into the next beat, which we're going to go over here in just a minute. But um, first, let's put it together and crash into this next beat to show you what it sounds like. So without music, one, two, one, two, three, go. All 
right? So we did it four times, then we crash in. So let's go over how to crash into it. Um, now there's two ways you can do this. You can do it with three bases in a row, or on the first one you can just do two bases. It's up to you how you want to do that. If you can't do three yet, practice doing three and just do two for now. But here's the two options. You know, normally you go tom bass crash like we covered earlier. So doing that, going into the next beat, you have three bases in a row. Right? So if that proves challenging, take one of the bases out, only do two bases. Right? So the, the actual beat, minus the crash and everything, is this. So base, base one, two, you hit two hi-hats here. You can count it in eighth or sixteenth notes. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Or you could, if you wanted, count it in eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. I think it'd be a little easier to count in sixteenths, because then the snare lines up on beats two and four, which is common for rock. Okay, so... Both bases are with the hi-hat here. All right, now let's go back to the end of the fourth fill. You notice I did three. Again with two. So if you do two, then you're just going to go bass crash and then three snares, or sorry, three hi-hats and then the snare drum. Then you pick up as normal with the two bass drums. So now putting all this together, let's check it out with music. Here we go. Alright, so then as you heard, we close the hi-hat after we do one phrase of the heavy hi-hat, then you heard we switch it to the closed hi-hat. Um, in other words, in, if, you, if one phrase is confusing to you, then basically do this eight times. One, two, three. Once you've done it the eighth time, then you close the hi-hats and you do the same thing again. Alright, so I hope this is really helpful for you guys. I love Nirvana. It's a lot of fun to play their stuff. Uh, if you have any further questions and need any more help, then uh, be sure to just comment below or you can go to the website and message me or email me. Um, also, definitely take advantage of that half hour free one-on-one -on -one live session with me. I'd love to see where you're at and show you how to get you to the next level in one month. So, again, thanks so much, guys. Take care.